Oh, good day. Well, I'm just sitting on a rock meditating before uh, I'm going to start my day practicing the ancient art of Qigong. What does that mean? That's energy cultivation. I was just sitting here amongst these uh, beautiful mangroves here. You know, just surveying the landscape and I was looking at, well, isn't that a lot like us, you know? We can even say that morning sun there as it rises up. We're a bit like the morning sun. We've got to rise up to our full potential. But we look at the, the, uh, the leaves here of the mangroves. They're a particular kind of leaves. Look at the roots here of these mangroves. A particular kind of roots. Look at what the mangroves are growing. This particular kind of mud, you see. So um, let's first of all have a look at the leaves. See, they're a particular kind of... Uh, waxy kind of leaf and we might be able to find a bit of salt on some of them there's been a bit of rain here recently so maybe you won't get salt but generally you might find that you get a bit of salt on the leaves like that there's wax on it they're, they're waxy you can see a waxiness on there all right so so that's one thing pushing out the salt being able to deal with the salt you can see this kind of stuff here you see those environmental effects you get there so so dealing with the with the stuff you've got to push out, you've got to deal with it. You've got to have that particular kind of bark there. And now if we look at the, the roots that we've got growing up out of here, you know, then that's a particular kind of um, adaptation to having to deal with something as well. So dealing with the, with the, um, the muck. And then the mud, you see the type of mud. And then look at that, didn't even see that one growing there. See? This is a particular uh, worrying creature in Australia. Um, it looks like a piece of broken glass. And essentially it is. But there can be all kinds of stuff growing on it so it can be effectively its own creature. So we'll remove this. Um, I'm, I'm a responsible citizen, so I've got some, uh, some poo bags there for the dogs. Um, we've got this other one over there. Now this is a bit of a concern because... Um, this one is a different type of creature, and see, it's not made out of stained glass, and it, and it faces itself upright. Very, very dangerous, these ones. So, um, if you're walking around with bare feet, then you've got to make sure that um, your feet are as good as these ones. Yeah. Now, um, how do you judge a good set of feet, or a good set of bare feet? Well, you can walk through the Australian terrain. Without going, ah, oh, ah, 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 ah. If you're doing that, you're a sissy. You don't have decent feet. So, um, anyway, I thought we'd just give this a bit of a contrast, a bit of, bit of a, um, a metaphor to see how we got to deal with life as well, you see. You know, like, we've got to deal with the mud. We've got to rise up out of the mud so that we can still breathe. We've got to deal with the salt and the muck. And we're going to have some thick skin, particularly on leaves, so we can push it out. And then we're going to have a bit of a waxy residue on our skin to be able to deal with the environment and the people around us. So with that, now I'm going to move on. That, that's good meditation for you. Now I'm trying to do a bit of Qigong energy. So pick up a pelvic floor, breathe from the base of the spine to the top of the head, breathe out through the top of the head, up to the center of the universe, and bring it back down from the center of the universe through the top of the head, down through the face, neck, chest, stomach, down to you. Dogs will just run off somewhere, so I better go and get them. Um, I'll do a proper lesson later on. Right, cheerio.